Garbo, not going to sugarcoat this one. Uh, fourth loss in a row. Yep. And uh, we just lost to a team that we should have beat by 22 points. Uh, quite honestly, I was thinking this would go a little bit different. Uh, I thought we were going to be talking about uh, Penn State's Big Ten tune-up game, Bucknell, go based off that and talk about the upcoming schedule. Um, but I'm looking at the schedule. Does does Penn State get a win in December? Apart yeah, I from Lemoyne? So. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance you sneak up, you beat even Maryland or Ohio State. Like, there's some gettable Big Ten teams, and it's it's dude, it's it's really easy to read into this loss and just go bananas and be like the season's over. We're we're back to square one, but. Mm-hmm. There was another big upset in college basketball today, Ty. There was. I did see that. Uh, I did see that the, those old Dukies lost today. No, Kentucky to UNC oh, Wilmington. Yeah, man. And Kentucky is a team that beat number eight Miami of Florida, and okay. um, they they lost to Kansas by five points. We were talking a little bit during that game, and we were both sure. shocked at how good Kentucky looked. Um, That's just the nature of college basketball, man. And then if you look at the Big Ten specifically during tournament time, uh, Purdue's lost to some St. Peter's. Yeah, yeah, but no, I'm talking about like in the tournament. And then Ohio State or Roberts, like (laughs) Bucknell had this game circled. Lehigh, when we played <laughs> Lehigh, Lehigh had this game circled. <laughs> like, dude, man, it's, it's college basketball. Anybody can beat almost anybody any given night if a shooter gets hot, whatever. Um, 24 on their team just absolutely murdered us. I think he had 24 points. We'll, we'll win one in December. Okay. We'll beat a Big Ten team in December. and We'll beat a Big Ten team in December. I mean, big so we got to be either Michigan State, Ohio State, or Maryland. Maryland, yeah. Maryland, okay. At Maryland. Uh, I mean, well, my concern is Garbo. I was based on these last four games. We're we're reeling and we're reeling bad. Beginning of this podcast, we were talking about how Penn State is a defensive minded team. Rhodes has a hard defense, you know, get back on defense guard. Garbo, this team is awful. They're pitiful. They are goddamn Susan Fry Lions. You know, this is a PG show, <laughs> but I'm just I'm just I'm just going to state the facts here. Bucknell is a team that before they came to Penn State. They were averaging 60 points a game. They put 76 on us. Next one is VCU. They put 86 on us. Butler put 88. Texas A&M put 89 on us. We do yeah, not I, have a good defensive team. I, I I don't know what to say. Yeah, we have pockets of good defensive players. Um, Ace, Kern, Wahab. But Wahab today looked questionable in the half court one thing Bucknell did really 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 well was they would use all of the shot clock but they would still manage to get a really good shot in the last five Mm -hmm. or ten seconds of the shot clock and specifically with VCU and um, Bucknell man it's obvious Kanye isn't healthy and Kanye looks super frustrated today Um, I mean everybody did but he he had four points I think and he's just Mm-hmm. You can tell he's not the Kanye we saw the first couple games. And I, before we decided to do this podcast after, after Bucknell, I tried to look at it through a positive light, the VCU loss. Right. We, we got to see our team play a lot and try to create offense without Kanye. Um, <laughs> these two games have been a test and maybe hopefully they'll benefit us moving forward. Not having 100% Kanye and playing two teams that we have the talent to beat, but right. didn't get it done. <sighs> we didn't get it done. Also, I mean, just to note some things here, we had a couple guys that you said didn't dress. Do you know the uh, the reason behind not dressing for Buck now? No, um, Jameel Brown was in a boot. Jameel um, Brown was in a boot, hopefully, okay. Hopefully that's uh, – just a precautionary like ankle, something like that. Demetrius Lilly, he did, I didn't see any bandages on him, but he didn't dress. And mm-hmm. I said it last game too. I surprising to say, but I think this team might meet need some Demetrius Lilly. Today we let yep. Leo Boyle start. Um 
don't give a shit. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if that's just because he's familiar with Buck now. Um, I mean, I not even that Garbo. I'm trying. I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking are, we are, in terms of forwards and big men, we are we are not deep at all. I, no. I I'm trying to think. Puffs I mean, are got, number two right now. Yeah, Puffs are number two, and I think he. Leo Boyle's three, Demetrius Lilly's four. I think that's it. You got four forwards on this whole entire team that I can think of. Yep. I don't think uh, Leo scored yet again today. Hopefully no. he gets a little comfortable soon, starts putting some balls in the basket. But, yeah, it's not encouraging whenever you're calling for Demetrius Lilly, but we haven't seen him in, what, three or four games. We don't really know what he can do. I think there's right. a chance Demetrius Lilly could be – a piece down the road. I think and so. Hopefully he's I agree. healthy. Hopefully he gets back. Agreed. Agreed. And I mean, I'm just, I'm, gee, I don't know what to say about today. I'm just talking up today as kind of like a, not a fluke, but as a, hopefully a wake up call for this team. I mean, yeah, I, I was, I, I'm, I'm done with the, I'm done with the turnover stat tracker for Kanye Clary. You know, I'm done with that. I want to see Penn state hold a team to under 70 points within uh, that's actually that's actually half decent i mean it's, it's looking cool. like it's looking like we we can't do that i like that and i'm sure that our coaching staff is thinking similarly to how you're thinking right now i know it's like the reverse big mac attack remember if penn state scored 70 <laughs> points you get big Macs. we're trying to 75 reverse, trying to, 75 75 75 sorry the uh the reverse big mac attack under 70 hopefully maryland because maryland they're a team that uses the entire shot clock we watched uh Indiana against them yesterday. I mean, Indiana just decimated them in the paint. They're getting paint touches left and right. Uh, Cleo Ware, who was a seven footer, who prediction is a top 10 pick. He looked amazing against them. I think we can do the same thing against Maryland. Play, uh, play some ball. that's a little bit slower pace and, uh, you know, just try and grind out a win. Cause we need, we need to change something. I don't know what that is. Well, something's got to give. So if I can get into it really quickly, like the last five minutes, two minutes of the game here. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, number one, we missed a lot of free throws. Cutis Wahab, who's actually surprisingly good free throw shooter, he missed at least three, I think. And then Kern missed a big one. Um, somebody else stepped to the line and missed a couple. But there was two possessions with like two minutes left where we're giving the ball to Kern. Kern, hmm. incredibly good athlete. I think he might be our best wing defender. He's a great defender, great athlete, but I don't think he's who we want with the ball in his hands in that situation. Right. Um, I I don't think Wahab is going to miss those free throws in, in different games. And oh, we yeah. saw him get a lot of touches in the beginning of the game. Maybe he was tired. We used him more than I've seen him used in person. We, right. he, we well, used the heck out of him. The person I want to see down the line shooting free throws, I don't care what game it is, you know, it's, it's my man Ace Ball. When he went seven for seven from the line, he's got seniority. He's been playing the game forever. Um, interesting enough, Kanye Clary had had no – he didn't have any any foul shots today. I don't think he's healthy. I don't think he's healthy either. He just – four points, that's just not – that's not Kanye – that's not the Kanye Clary I know. No. We saw some bursts, though, too. Like Good. where he's he's going behind the back through the lane, a fast break, laying it up, floater. Also, we saw him chuck up a couple deep threes, which he's he oh. can take the three, but I don't think that's I don't think that's his ideal shot. No. Um, Honestly, apart from Hicks, I don't think I don't want to apart from Hicks, another thing I want to see, I don't see anybody else shoot threes. Hicks is our only semi I mean Jamil Brown too. Um uh, you're missing our, one. Who's who's our other one? DeMarco Puff? Dunn. DeMarco Dunn. I know you're big on DeMarco yeah. Dunn. We didn't get to see a lot of him this game. We saw a decent amount, but he didn't get a lot of shot opportunities. There's a couple times where guys are going to the rim and he's open on the wing and they just didn't find him for whatever reason, either a turnover, missed layup. Um, mm-hmm. We were really just trying to get layups like towards the end of that game. But yeah, yeah Puff too. Like I saw him shoot a couple threes and – <laughs> they just rimmed out barely. Like they all of them looked really good leaving the hand. Um another oh, same okay. thing can be said about Leo Boyle. All of his misses look like good misses, Ty. Yeah, Boyle. <laughs> uh, now you okay, you brought him up and gonna say it. I mean, the, the, I dude, how, how many games have we played this season, Garbs? Are we uh, this is the sixth, we, seventh game? No. 
ninth, maybe. We were four and four. Yeah, we're four and four and four. So we're eight, four and eight five. games. I mean, Leo Boyle, if you're watching this, and I hope you are, and hopefully you're supporting, dude. I need you. I, I just need you to shoot better, man. I we keep hearing in practice how you're a great shooter. And yeah, I, I forget what it was. I think it was three games ago. Coach is talking about how our best shooter is not even shooting well right now. And I know he's talking about Leo Boyle because he's got a great looking shot. I just think it's a mental lapse or something because Leo Boyle, yeah, a senior on the team, Pennsylvania guy, scrappy, Dunder Mifflin product. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even like, dude, you got, uh, you got to be contributing something. If you're going to start, at least, you know, I think he gets 10 minutes a game, something like that. I need you to score more than two points a game, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I, hate, I, I hate to get on a guy, but he gets the raisin cookie for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I just think, you know, the, Bucknell, a lot of these guys have played together for a long time. And yep. and once again, we saw with UNC Wilmington today, they, they just beat Kentucky at Kentucky a very similar game to how this should go. Kentucky's ranked in the top 25. Um, yeah. This is just the nature of college basketball. Every year you get to the tournament, and Princeton beat Arizona in round one last year, dude. Like, this stuff happens, and it's easy to say, oh, man, like, the season's over. Oh, we suck. No. This is a wake-up call to get ready for Big Ten play, and I had a baseball coach used to say this to us all the time. Well, guys, that's about as bad as you can play. So there should be no pressure next game. You go out, you play Good loose. Um, Good point. I'm sorry I got to be Mr. Silver Lining here after we just lost to Bucknell. True. But, hey, so what else can you do, think positive. I mean, yeah. we're, we're, you're right. You're right. Big Ten play is still there. I mean, honestly, before the season, I wasn't expecting a whole much. But, I mean – just, just, just have the team score less points. I mean, that's just my my yeah. my goal. I just want the team to score less points. Season defense, silver lining, silver lining is again, Ace Baldwin. He's awesome. Kanye Clary, once he gets healthy, I think will be a sneaky team. Uh, because our guard play is good, our backcourt's good. I just well, think it's uh, depth. It's the wing, man. We don't have it's true. A, that's a true scorer on the wing right now. Um. Really quick, I don't have any picks. I haven't looked really. Been watching some yeah. football, but yeah, football. I will say, Indiana basketball wagon watch. It is wagon. They're watch. on wagon that, watch. It was. Larry told me Indiana minus two and a half at Indiana against Maryland. I took that right away. Took that that, right that away Ware guy. Wrote that. Oh, Khalil Ware is awesome. I watched. I watched him for ten minutes at the beginning of the season. I said, yeah, like Indiana is going to be a problem. It's true. And on a side note, if anybody watched the UConn Kansas game on December 1st, uh, Tristan Newton is probably the best guard in college basketball. I don't know if you saw that game, guard, but that dude was making contested threes religiously, <laughs> getting to the rim religiously, assists. Uh, UConn's tough. I know they I know they lost to Kansas at Allen Fieldhouse, but they made it a game. UConn is is everybody as good as they were last year. Well, good. I mean, I have to watch it. And like I said this at the beginning of the year, Big East, man. I mean, I know Marquette just lost Wisconsin at Wisconsin, though, but Big East is Big East is legit. Tough. Yeah. I don't have anything else, man. What, what do you, what do you want to close on, else. Tyler? What do you want to end on? Defense, defense, defense. If you're watching this, Mike Rhodes, get those boys playing defense. I mean, other than that, hopefully Kanye Clary heals up because I do think he was hurt. He was frustrated. Defense, defense, defense. Yeah, man. He's he is our Miles Dread this year. He's the he heart and soul, Dredd. Kanye. He is. truly is. He truly is. But we'll reconvene after the Maryland game, Garbo. We'll have an update. Uh, and then we'll talk about the rest of the Big Ten. But Penn State Ohio State at the BJC Saturday. Saturday. Will you be there? Dude, it's six thirty. I saw some guy leaving. He said, uh, Ohio State, six thirty. Better get tuned up for that one. I might. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know who you know who's on Ohio State? Uh mm, oh Mahafey. Mahafey. Oh Mahafey. So it'll be a little oh, homecoming a for dog. him. You'll you'll be seeing him. Dude, that guy is a dog. I that guy is a dog. I want nothing but the best for him, but 
God damn, I hope we beat him. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Curse of Jamari Wheeler. Curse of Jamari Wheeler. Let's get it. Beat Ohio State. Let's go Penn State. All right, Garbo. I'll talk to you later, brother. Peace. Peace.